Hi, I'm Steph, and today we're going to install this cool little product right here. This is actually a holder for an air tag that goes right on a dog collar. So you can see I've already installed my dog Tosh's one. So this is the device. You can see I already took the one off, but it comes with these tools right here to uh, use this. So right now I'm going to take the back part off. And so what's cool is these screws right here, they have a little pointy tip and that's how you're able to push them through the dog collar. And these work on most collars. And here are the instructions, they're really easy to follow. It does say on here, um, it doesn't work for anything thicker than this right here, but it worked perfect on Tasha. So I wanna show you how it works because it's really nice. And these are actually waterproof, so I should be able to um, wash them. So what I'm gonna do is put the air tag in here now. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what an air tag is. Uh, you can definitely look it up on Apple's website. But this is just a little extra security. You know, they already have their names on their tags and information on, you know, they have ear tags. Greyhounds have ear tattoos, so their information is in their ears as well. But this is just an extra little security that's not a big deal to just add to their collar. So that's why I did it. So in here, is where the air tag goes and you buy these from apple and i just got you can get anything engraved on the front so i just got a little dog with um a little m for mac so i'm going to put the top right back on here and again like i said they say it's waterproof so i should be able to wash this without having to take it off the collar and i actually pre-ordered this um back in the summertime and i finally got it uh, i think they're now fully available on this website elevation lab is the company and so I wanted to share this because it actually is the best dog collar attachment I've seen for, for Apple AirTags. This is ready to go. Now I'm going to get the collar here and I'm going to place it in the same location that I placed Tosh's because I feel like it was a good location. But you can really put it anywhere on the collar. So I'm going to put it around here. All right, so you grab this piece here and you put the screw through it. And again, it has a little point to be able to go through the collar and find a location kind of in the middle. And I'm just gonna start screwing it in and it's gonna start to pop through. And I'm going to just make sure it's secure. Okay, so that's on. And so now I'm gonna do the second one and I wanna make sure it is lined up here. I'm just going to keep screwing it in here. And there it is. So it is now on the collar. This is a just a standard collar I got from Hollywood Feed for both the dogs. And you can see, there it is. So now I'm going to put it on both the dogs so you can kind of see how they like it. Yeah, there we go. Good girl. They're good. Good girl. There it is on Mac. She does not seem bothered by it at all. Now let's go put it on Tosh. There we go. What do you guys think? They are not bothered by it at all. So now on my phone I have Mac and Tosh listed and if I needed to, if they were away from me, I'd get an alert on my phone saying that they were gone and it would give me a location of where they are. I could also play a sound if I wanted to know where the dogs were. Um, I can also hit find and I would be able to find them if they were generally close to me and I can get notifications when they're, they're away from me and then lost mode I can hit it to say that they're lost, that they've been lost and any Apple device nearby will help find find them which is uh which is a nice feature if you have a greyhound you probably know this but inside of their ear they have a little green tattoo and that is their um, identification information and if you adopted a greyhound you probably got that in your adoption paperwork but Tasha's is way easier to see let's see if we can see her there we go 
So one ear has one set of numbers and the other has another and it refers to different items. I can't remember what it all refers to, but yeah, it's hard to see it, but it's in there in both ears. All right, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.